Open source hardware consists of physical artifacts of technology designed and offered by the open design movement. Both free and open source software as well as open source hardware is created by this open source cultural movement and applies a like concept to a variety of components. It is sometimes, thus, referred to as FOSH. The term usually means that information about the hardware is easily discerned so that others can make it, coupling it closely to the maker. Movement Hardware design, in addition to the software that drives the hardware, are all released under free, Libra terms. The original sharer gains feedback and potentially improvements on the design from the FOSH community. There is now significant evidence that such sharing creates enormous economic value and can drive a high return on investment for investors. Since the rise of reconfigurable programmable logic devices, sharing of logic designs has been a form of open source hardware. Instead of the schematics, hardware description language code is shared. HDL descriptions are commonly used to set up system on of chip systems either in field programmable gate arrays or directly in application specific integrated circuit designs. HDL modules, when distributed, are called semiconductor intellectual property cores, or IP cores. One example of open source hardware is phone blocks. Licenses Rather than creating a new license, some open source hardware projects simply use existing, free and open source software licenses. These licenses may not accord well with patent law. Additionally, several new licenses have been proposed. These licenses are designed to address issues specific to hardware designs. In these licenses, many of the fundamental principles expressed in open source software licenses have been ported to their counterpart hardware projects. Organizations tend to rally around a shared license. For example, OpenCores prefers the LGPL or a modified BSD license. FreeCores insists on the GPL. Open Hardware Foundation promotes copyleft or other permissive licenses. The Open Graphics Project uses a variety of licenses, including the MIT license, GPL, and a proprietary license, and the Balloon Project wrote their own license. New hardware licenses are often explained as the hardware equivalent of a well-known OS license, such as the GPL, LGPL, or BSD license. Despite superficial similarities to software licenses, most hardware licenses are fundamentally different. By nature, they typically rely more heavily on patent law than on copyright law, whereas the copyright license may control the distribution of the source code or design documents. A patent license may control the use and manufacturing of the physical device built from the design documents. This distinction is explicitly mentioned in the preamble of the TAPR Open Hardware License. Those who benefit from an old design may not bring lawsuits claiming that design infringes their patents or other intellectual property TAPR Open Hardware License. Noteworthy licenses include the TAPR Open Hardware License, drafted by attorney John Ackerman, reviewed by OS community leaders Bruce Perrins and Eric Hess. Raymond, and discussed by hundreds of volunteers in an open community discussion. Balloon Open Hardware License, used by all projects in the Balloon Project. Although originally a software license, OpenCores encourages the LGPL, Hardware Design Public License, written by Graham Seaman, admin, of OpenCollector.org. In March 2011 CERN released the CERN Open Hardware License intended for use with the Open Hardware Repository and other projects. The SolderPad license is a version of the Apache License version 2.0, amended by lawyer Andrew Katz to render it more appropriate for hardware use. Development Extensive discussion has taken place on ways to make open source hardware as accessible as open source software. Discussions focus on multiple areas, such as the level at which open source hardware is defined, ways to collaborate in hardware development, 
as well as a model for sustainable development by making open source appropriate technology. In addition, there has been considerable work to produce open source hardware for scientific hardware using a combination of open source electronics and 3D printing. One of the major differences between developing open source software and developing open source hardware is that hardware results in tangible outputs which cost money to prototype and manufacture. As a result, the phrase, free as in speech, not as in beer, more formally known as gratis versus libra, distinguishes between the idea of zero cost and the freedom to use and modify information. While open source hardware faces challenges in minimizing cost and reducing financial risks for individual project developers, some community members have proposed models to address these needs. Given this, there are initiatives to develop sustainable community funding mechanisms, such as the Open Source Hardware Central Bank. Often vendors of chips and other electronic components will sponsor contests with the proviso that the participants and winners must share their designs. Circuit Seller Magazine organizes some of these contests. Open Source Labs and Certifications A guide has been published on using open source electronics and 3D printing to make open source labs. Today scientists are creating many such labs. Examples include Boston Open Source Science Laboratory, Somerville, Massachusetts, BYU Open Source Lab, Brigham Young University, Michigan Tech, OSU Open Source Lab, Oregon State University, Open Source Research Lab, University of Texas at El Paso, OWYF Certification, the Free Software Foundation, Respects Your Freedom, Computer Hardware Product Certification Program encourages the creation and sale of hardware that respects users' freedom and privacy, and aims to ensure that users have control over their devices. Business Models Opened hardware companies are experimenting with different business models. In one example, LittleBits implements open source business models by making the design files available for the circuit designs in each LittleBits module. In accordance with the CERN Open Hardware License version 1.2. In another example, Arduino has registered its name as a trademark. Others may manufacture their designs but can't put the Arduino name on them. Thus they can distinguish their products from others by appellation. There are many applicable business models for implementing some open source hardware even in traditional firms. For example, to accelerate development in technical innovation the photovoltaic industry has experimented with partnerships, franchises, secondary supplier and completely open source models. Reception and Impact Richard Stallman, the founder of the free software movement, was in 1999 skeptical on the idea and relevance of free hardware. In a 2015 Wired article he adapted his point of view slightly, while he still sees no ethical parallel between free software and free hardware, he acknowledges the importance 